Giang ơi. Ơi. Hey, what is good everybody? It is your boy Tuan and Mandy uh, tapping in for a quick one today. Uh, today we are pretty hungry. We haven't had anything to eat all morning. So uh, we're about to check out a new restaurant called The Moo. And uh, we can order a bunch of uh, food and review for you guys if it's uh, good or not. So without further ado, let's go. Let's go. All right, check it out guys. We are here at The Moo. All right, guys, check it out. So we got the uh, about to melt the Vietnamese uh, coffee ice cream, the uh, strawberry cheesecake ice cream, and the mango ice cream, right? So check it out, guys. Right? So we get uh, one ice cream per uh, entree purchase, right? For the meantime of the soft opening at the moon. Let's try it out before it melts. Or oh, it's already melting, so. <laughs> Vietnamese coffee. It's already melting. Coffee's not bitter it's like back seal it's like um, milk coffee but then it's more milk than coffee so what do you give the coffee eight out of ten eight out of ten very good not bitter not cool mango cheers yeah mango is good it's like a light uh, mango flavor right it's very nice it's not too sweet right it's melted so <laughs> You guys are gonna have to excuse me for that. It's been a, it's been a hot day, right? Okay. So it's a good, uh, free mango ice cream, right? Not bad ice cream. Probably the mango one. I'll probably give it probably like a six out of ten. So let's swap and let's try it out. The mango smell is um, thơm, good. Yeah. yeah. My turn. Let's try the Vietnamese coffee uh, ice cream. Vietnamese melted coffee ice cream. <laughs> All right, guys, check it out. Now let's try it out. Not bad. You can taste the Vietnamese coffee flavor. Uh, it's just like in a ice cream form, right? Or gelato form. The ice texture of the ice cream is smooth, right? Yeah, very silky smooth ice cream. It's not really bitter, right? Like I agree, it's not. It's not too bitter. It's uh, it's more like a milky uh, coffee flavor, right? Back seal. Back seal. Back seal. We call it back seal. Probably this one. I give it. I give it a. It's not bad, but it's not like a wow factor to me, right? Just a regular Vietnamese coffee ice cream, right? So six out of ten for me. So what do you give it? The uh, mango, Mandy. Six point five out of ten. I six point like, five out of ten. I like this one better. Okay. Okay. She likes the uh, Vietnamese coffee better. Strawberry cheesecake ice cream. Check it out. Now let's try it out. I can definitely taste the strawberry in it, but I can't uh, pinpoint the cheesecake in it. Yeah, it's just like strawberry. Yeah, <laughs> just like a strawberry uh, ice cream. Hmm. Nothing more. Okay, but it's silky smooth, right? Hmm. And it's uh, a little bit sweeter than the other ones, right? To me. I'm okay with the sweetness. Yeah. So overall, for me. Uh, I gotta give the strawberry probably like a 5 out of 10, right? Since it was like a little bit too sweet. 5 out of 10, you know, 50-50. I'm gonna give this 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10, okay, all right. So anyways, guys, we just had to get the ice cream reveal in because those ice creams were like melting, right? But now, let's get to the main event. Let's get to the food, right? That's what we're here for, the delicious food. Hopefully. So. <laughs> All right, guys. So apparently they didn't give us any utensils, right? Besides the spoon, right? No chopsticks, no forks or anything. Bam. Check it out, guys. So I got the Vietnamese uh, cuisine called Bung Chia Hanoi. This is not your typical uh, Vietnamese dish, right? Normally you guys see like pho and uh, bung bò huế. This is like more of the uh, more local uh, northern uh, Vietnamese dish, right? So this is called again Bung Chia Hanoi. So they give us like vermicellis, uh, marinated beef patties, and then uh, I think this is like grilled, uh, I believe it's like grilled pork or grilled beef. I will find out, so, <laughs> but I think it's like uh, beef or pork. And then uh, this is the veggies, right? The assortments of uh, veggies, you guys uh, got the lettuce, right? And all the, the herbs, right? Vietnamese uh, people, Vietnamese dishes, they we love our herbs, right? 
okay and then we got the secret um, nuke mom sauce right here so this is like a special uh, dipping sauce right so you're gonna take all this uh, goodness right here and then you're gonna dip it into uh, more goodness right so this is the uh, fish sauce with um i believe what is it like uh, carrots uh, the white stuff like maybe daikons right in a sweet uh, fish sauce and we can eat it together with the vermicellis and uh, the herbs they only give us a spoon so i'm gonna work my magic i'm gonna use what i what i got and uh yeah i'm just gonna hopefully pull it off guys so i got the uh, beef patties okay and then i'm gonna dip it in the sauce okay how am i gonna do this guys so <laughs> it would have been Typically, you would need chopsticks for these, right? But uh, like I mentioned, uh, I believe they forgot to give us utensils. Okay, so here it is. I'm trying not to spill in the car, guys. All right, my car will be very aromatic afterwards, so. <laughs> Just gonna try to slice up these noodles with the spoon method, right? All right, guys, check it out. Now let's try it out, cheers. Taste it with the herbs. So the beef patty is really good. It's like a seasoned uh, Vietnamese pork meatball, right? The sweet uh, fish sauce complements it very well, and the carrots and daikon uh, brings a nice crunch and textures to it, right? So it's really good. And the vermicellis add a different texture to it. It complements the beef patty very well, right? And then the herbs. Can't forget the herbs. Really good. And so this is the grilled uh, pork, right? So this is the grilled pork. Uh, same method guys, we're going to take this, we're going to dip it in there. Your boy's trying really hard not to spill, so... <laughs> Alright guys, check it out, now let's try it out. Cheers. Mm. Check it out guys, oops, there it goes. <laughs> Spoon method sometimes does not work guys. The chopstick method is the best way. Alright guys, <laughs> hopefully... It's gonna stay intact. All right, guys, check it out. Now let's try it out. Cheers. Mm. So the flavor is really good. The uh, grilled pork is uh, has a smoky flavor, right, from the uh, the flames, right, and it's sweet from the marinade. Very nice, guys. Very very nice. Overall, both meats were very on point. Very well seasoned, right. Very um, has a smoky flavor, has a sweet a marinade flavor. It goes very well with the vermicellis and the carrots and daikon uh, sauce with you know fish sauce uh, complements it very well also and the herbs gives it that freshness so overall i gotta give this dish a 7.5 out of 10. Mm. the meat patty is well marinated so the meat patty is very well uh, marinated right mm -hmm. yeah. the flavor is good yeah, smoky right Takes the smokiness. Mm. And the uh, nước mắm, the fish sauce is good too, not really sour, mm -hmm. not salty. Yeah, it's more on the it's sweeter side. Mm. Just right. Yeah. But kara and daikon is good too. Yeah. What do you give it overall? I'm gonna give it 7 out of 10. Dish number two, this is uh, frog porridge, right? We got the uh, frog over here in this uh, special marinated um, sauce all right that they have and then they got the white uh, porridge right just probably the white uh, porridge that they have and their special sauce for here so this dish is like more of the uh, special dish right you don't you guys don't really uh, see frog dishes uh, too often right I've had frogs before you know in the past it tastes a little bit of like chicken from what I remember I've had it like many years ago right so let's see if it tastes like that let's try the porridge first Porridge is just like a regular uh, plain uh, rice porridge, right? And I think the reason for it to be so plain or bland is because like the most of the seasoning is in the frog. So all the flavors in here. So you gotta take this sauce and you guys have to pour it in here, right? And then you guys gotta eat it. So let's try it out. Cheers. Yeah. It's like a dark uh, soy sauce, uh, pepper, uh, flavor, right? You can't really taste the frog yet, but let's take a bite of the frog. Cheers. Yeah. 
So you guys, very, very much like I remember. It tastes like a very tender uh, chicken wing, right? A tender, uh, small chicken wing. Uh, very nice. Uh, the meat's a little bit of stringy, right? Flavor, like I mentioned, similar to chicken from uh, my point. And the, the sauce is very, like a deep um, uh, soy sauce flavor, right? And it's uh, more in the saltier side, right? Dip it in that green sauce. Let's find out what, what, uh, what that green sauce is, okay? Check it out, now let's try it out. Yeah, watch out for the bones. There's like tiny bones in there too. I can't really tell what the, the sauce is. I gotta go in and taste the sauce again. So here's the sauce, guys. Yeah, that's a vinegar chili sauce. That's what it was. So I believe the reason for that is like the acid to break down the savoriness of the frog stew, I believe. So now let's try all three together, okay? So a little bit of the frog. Hopefully I can get a, a good piece of the frog. And they only give you like a little bit of the frog, right? Not, not too much. Maybe like one, two, three, four, five. We have like five, six pieces of frog, right? And uh, they're like this this size, right? Very small. It's like a small chicken wing. Got my piece. I'm gonna pour it in the um, porridge. This, this is how you guys eat it, or this is how I eat it. <laughs> okay. And then a uh, little bit of the green sauce. All right, guys. Now let's try it out. Cheers. Yeah, you can taste the um, creaminess of the porridge, the uh, savoriness of the frog uh, <laughs> stew. Very, very salty. But then you get the uh, acidity of the, the green sauce, right? And again, the frog is very tender. It's very, it's, it's a little bit of um, chewy. It's got a little bit of a chewiness to it. And again, it tastes like a small, uh, more tender chicken wings, right? Not bad. So honestly, I'm not a big fan of frogs, but uh, I gotta give this a six out of ten right for the overall dish i gotta get a six out of ten uh, like i mentioned i'm not a big fan of frogs but maybe some of you might might dig this right but to me uh, i think it's okay i think it's an okay dish maybe when you're sick you know i think this uh, frog uh, porridge will help out a lot no flavor yeah it's just a regular uh, rice porridge right they don't even add i don't think they add any Sauce, seasoning. Any seasoning in, even the sauce. Because mm -hmm. mainly the season seasoning is going to be in the frog uh, stew. So now I'm going to try the one with the sauce in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with, with the sauce from the frog, it tastes better. Mm -hmm. More, a little more flavor, right? Mm. Now I'm going to try the frog. Sauce. The sauce of the frog. It's okay. Say, uh, very salty, huh? Mm. How is it? The, the meat is good. It is well marinated. Yeah. What does the meat texture remind you of? Chicken. Yeah, chicken, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I know. I think most of you, most of you who've had frogs, know it tastes very similar to chicken texture and taste. Wise. In Vietnam, we have a lot of dish has frog, yeah. frog, a a sow, yeah. a car, yeah. many. But I think this dish is from Singapore, not from Vietnam. Yeah. It's a Singapore frog porridge. Right. Might be a fusion, right? Yeah. So in Vietnamese. Um, Cuisine, we have a lot of frog dishes, right? And uh, this might be like a fusion of Vietnamese and maybe, uh, like Mandy said, Singaporean. Singapore. No, I'm if if uh, we're not mistaken, so <laughs> yes. we're not we're not a, a a frog, you know what do you call it? Connoisseur, you know. Uh, once in a while, we have this. The sauce is a little bit spicy for me. Yeah, the sauce has a has a kick, right? It has a little kick of spiciness to it, which I love. It's not too spicy uh, to me. 
but uh, some of you, like Mandy, uh, might find it a little bit spicy. Seven out of ten. Seven out of ten for her. Yeah. So yeah, guys, if you guys like frog, I suggest you guys just give it a go. You know, try it out. Maybe you guys like it. Maybe you guys don't. So. All right, check it out, guys. Our last and final dish, right? So this is more on the street food side, right? It's chicken feet, right? All of you who've had uh, chicken feet, you know, at the dim sums or anywhere else you guys got chicken feet from, uh, you guys know this is just a um, hit or miss dish, right? Some people like it, some people don't. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if you're more on the adventurous side, uh, you can uh, stomach this. So it looks like it's like submerged into some kind of um, uh, maybe vinegar base uh, sauce, right? So we'll, we'll find out. And lemongrass. And uh, lemongrass. So let's try it out. So it looks like a very clear um, broth, kind of like a cold broth. Cheers. Very uh, like a vinegar, uh, sweet vinegar base uh, liquid, right? And uh, you can uh, kind of taste the what do you call it? The the lemongrass. Not, not a lot, but just like a like a slight lemongrass flavor, just a little bit. So now let's try the chicken feet. All right, guys, check it out. Now let's try it out. Yeah, chicken feet is very rubbery. Not too much meat in it, right? So you guys, the chicken feet is like very rubbery when you guys bite into it. There's not too much meat into it, right? It's more the uh, the rubbery outside of it, right? And uh, yeah, it's not bad. It's like a very uh, mild, vinegary. Uh, it tastes kind of like the sauce, the, 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 the marinade that I just mentioned, right? A liquid base. So yeah, not bad. Overall, I got to give the chicken feet probably a 5 out of 10 for me. My turn to try the chicken feet. Vietnamese, we call it chân gàng em sẽ tắc. It's like a cold broth, right? Mm, it's a little bit sour. Yeah, it's like a little bit on the acidity side from the vinegar, I believe. They put vinegar in there. Mm. Now the chicken feet. I prefer it without the bone because they will have chân gà rút xương. Ngâm xả tắc too, but they don't have it in in the in this restaurant. But chicken feet soak in there, mm -hmm. it makes it a little bit flavorful. Yeah, how's the flavors? What does it taste like? Vinegar. Vinegar? Like a sweet vinegar, right? Mm. It's a little bit spicy. Yeah, a little bit spicy? It's a little kick. Yeah. Well, mainly it's like what? The vinegar mm. and the sweetness, sweetness, right? Yeah. I will give it 7 out of 10 because the bone is still in. Yeah. And it's kind of hard. Yeah, kind of hard to eat, right? With the bones. Yeah. Mm. It's a good snack. It's a, yeah, it's a good snack, right? Just snack on to munch on while you're at home, you know, watching like food shows like us. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe. So. <laughs> and that is a wrap, guys. That is a wrap on our little uh, mini food adventure for today at uh, The Moo, right? Remember, you guys, if you guys like this video, the best way you guys can support us is to like, share, and subscribe to our channel, right? Like, share, and subscribe. And uh, we truly appreciate it. And yeah, until next time, guys, uh, safe travels and happy eating. Peace.